Hi, I'm Jamie at the Bead Gallery, and today I'm going to show you how to make a leafy wire component. I'm using 18 gauge soft wire, and it's about one foot. With my six step wrap and tap, I'm going to start about one inch from the end of the wire. And as you can see, you can make as many leaves as you want. The one that I'm showing you there has three, so you can use it as a necklace focal or a brooch. You can put as many leaves as you want. The first one is going to be the part you can join into. So make that as big as you want. If you're attaching chain or cord, just make that loop big enough to accommodate. I'm tucking the end of my wire in so it doesn't catch on anything. You can do that all at once at the end or as you go along. When you start the next loop, I just pick any barrel on my six step wrap and tap and I start to circle around and wrap the long wire around the vine. Let's call that center wire the vine and all the leaves are gonna come off of that vine. I like to alternate, but you don't have to. Let's say you're making a necklace with all drops. You can make all of your leaves hang in the same direction. If I'm making a bracelet topper, I like the leaves to be alternating. You can wrap two, three times, it's up to you. But just make sure you wrap tight. Continue making them larger or smaller as you please. That's what makes this so fun. You can totally do whatever feels right as you go along. I have done this in 16 gauge soft wire as well. So if you want it a little more chunky or sturdier, you can change your wire gauge. And if you wanna make a mini one for earrings, Oh my gosh, that'd be so cute. You can do that in 20 gauge. You can even try as small as 22, as long as it's stable and it can hold its shape and won't pull apart. I test it and see what you can do. Okay, we have all of our loops. 
Now let's turn them into leaves. You can use any flat edged tool like a chain nose plier or a flat nose plier and we'll be creating points with them. So you, if you watch carefully, you can see that I am creating a point almost like I'm making a triangle at the tip of each petal. So just press, 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 and make them come to a point. Press, press, press. Don't be afraid to press. The wire can take a lot. You can switch tools if you want a smaller point, and you can even start cranking it a little bit left or right for a little twist at the tip. Take your time shaping all of your leaves. We are going to be hammering them next. This will lock the shape into place by work hardening them. And just remember, you're not going for perfect. This is an organic project. It's supposed to represent nature. So it's okay that it's not perfect. Really just enjoy the whole process. I think it's so much fun. Once you have all your leaves, we're gonna move to the hammering so you can get your bench block and your chasing hammer. If you have a nylon hammer, now's a great time to get it. You can hammer out this piece with your nylon hammer to flatten it a bit. I didn't have one close by, so I did quote unquote, cheat a little and hit it with my metal chasing hammer. I normally don't do that, but I didn't want to stop the video. Normally, you do not want to hit any wires that overlap. This can weaken the wires and cause breakage. When you're hammering, try your best not to hammer any of the pieces that overlap or where the wire is wrapped you can use your piece pressed against the bench block like I am right there on the edge so you have some leverage so that any part that you're hammering is in full contact with the bench block. Don't let the leaves be floating in midair as you hammer it. Do your best to make sure that it is flat on the bench block when you are hammering. For some of the smaller leaves, I did change to a smaller frets hammer with a tinier head because it makes it so much easier to get into that space. And then I'm not hitting parts of my component that I don't want to. I do like the large head on the chasing hammer. It is very um, functional and fast. Now you can start pushing everything into place the way you want it. Here's the part I was saying that normally you would use a nylon or a plastic hammer to, to, to put everything in place. Please don't copy me at that point. Sensei was being naughty. For the finishing touches, Angle the leaves the way that you want. Create spaces that you're more comfortable with. It's kind of like Ikebana in the sense that you can move things around to what pleases your eye, what feels good. And if you're not sure, just keep fussing with it until you feel happy. That's my little secret. 
All right, it's done. Now it's ready to embellish. I hope you had fun and please give it a shot. Let me know how you do and show it to us. Okay, bye-bye. Aloha.